Hi, my name is Dylan Pavelko, and I'm an electrical engineering senior at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. For my senior project, I made a RGBW LED light fixture that was controlled with ACN. I'll explain the acronyms in a moment, but if you're watching YouTube right now and want to skip straight to the demo, you can click the link now. Otherwise, let's explain the project. In 2006, the Entertainment Services and Technology Association published a new suite of protocols called the Architecture for Control Networks, or ACN, that control lighting fixtures, and it uses Ethernet as its link between components. When I was researching this project, I found industry has been slow to adopt this standard, as it's vastly more complex than the previous standard, called DMX512. So for my project, I wanted to use ACN to control a lighting fixture that had red, green, blue, and white LEDs on it. I knew I would have a lot of research to do, but I was pretty excited. I developed a graphic user interface in Java, which sent UDP packets over the Ethernet with an ACN data payload. This ACN payload was a set of protocols which allowed me to control the properties of my light fixture. Using the GUI, the user could easily adjust the color faders to their desired color, then pressing the send button would send the Ethernet packet. The Ethernet packet is received by the ENC28J60 which makes the information available to a microcontroller using serial peripheral interfacing. This area of my project definitely took the most time to understand. As an EE major, learning how to set the MAC address, IP address, and communicate using the various layers of the internet protocol took a lot of time to research. Once I had everything communicating, I was able to read the ACN information using my microcontroller, the AppMega32A. That Mega32A would then process this information and generate pulse width modulated signals which would dim the LEDs. Before I reached the LEDs though, it was sent to the SN754410, a quadruple half H driver. This simply stepped up the 5 volt PWM signal to a 14 volt PWM signal which is required by each channel of LEDs. Finally, the signal reaches the PCB board where there's 16 LEDs four red, green, blue, and white ones, all mounted on a custom designed and fabricated printed circuit board. Putting this all together, from a user's perspective, you simply set your color and hit send. You can change your color, pressing send, and change it again. For the full demo, I decided to write a Java program that plays an MP3 file and depending on the time of the song, sends a command to the light fixture of what color to be and how long to fade to that color. I decided to choose the song World of Color from Disney's California Adventure theme park. I don't own any rights to this song. But in any case, sit back and delight in the world of color.
Night. 